One question that I get asked all of the time is, how do I add video to my Elementor website? This is actually really easy to do, but there are a few different ways that you can do it. You can add a background video like you see here that cycles through, or you can add a video embed like you see here. Today I'm going to show you how to do that in Elementor Pro. Let's get started. I've opened up my page in Elementor Pro and I have my video in the background like you see here. And if we scroll down a bit, I have it embedded onto the page in a widget. So I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. If we scroll up to the top, video backgrounds can be really useful. They do make a nice impact on your design, especially on the home page. you can really do a lot to grab your user's attention. This is a video that we shot a few years ago. I'm just using this as an example. And what I want to do is go to the section. So this blue area here. So we would add our section and then we click on edit and then we go to our style tab, which is the middle tab over here. If you click on background, you'll see that there are a bunch of different background types that you can add. You can add a color, you can add a gradient, a video, which is what we did here, or a slideshow. So you would want to select video, which is this button here, and then you would put in the link to your video. Now you can use YouTube, Vimeo, or you can upload the file directly. I always recommend uploading the video, especially if it's a large file, to either YouTube or Vimeo because if you upload it directly and it's a large file, it could take a while for that video to load, which will slow down your page load time. So uploading it to YouTube or Vimeo can help reduce the load time. So this is a video that was on our YouTube and what you need to do is just copy the link from YouTube and paste it in here. So if we go to YouTube, you can see this is the video. We want to copy this link here. You don't wanna copy the share link. It doesn't work when you do the share link for background videos. You wanna copy this link here, go back to Elementor and paste it in there. That's the same for Vimeo and the same if you upload it directly, you would upload the file to your media library and then you would paste that link in here. What is really cool about this background widget is that you can select the start time and end time for the video. So if you just want a clip of a video, you can do that. Uh, I put five seconds as the start time because I wanted to start it at five seconds in. So that's something that you can play around with. You also have some other controls. You can say just play it once. You can click play on mobile if you wanted to also play on mobile devices. By default, this is off, but you can turn it on if you want. And you have the privacy mode, which would only work for YouTube videos, but this just allows it to be uh, private. One thing that you're also going to want to do is uh, have a background fallback. So that is just if the video doesn't play, something will show. So what I like to do is just take a frame of the video, maybe the first frame, and put that image in here. So that's what I've done with this video. So you can see that the image is showing up in here. Now if we go to preview this, you can see that the video does start to play and everything is working as it should. So that's the first way to use video with Elementor by uploading a video to the background of your section. The second way is to embed the video onto your site using the video widget. So if we scroll down, this is what I've done here. This is a little bit different because it will play both the audio and the video. If you want to include a video on your page to explain your services or your products, this is what you would want to use. If we go here to edit this, it will explain a little bit more what this widget is about. So the video widget has the ability to source from YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, or self-hosted. Again, self-hosted would be uploading the video directly. 
I recommend, again, uploading it to YouTube or Vimeo because you're not going to have to worry about it loading on your server and slowing down your page load times. If we go back to YouTube, we would want to, in this instance, click the share button and copy this link here. So you copy that and then you would paste it into the video widget here. And again, you have the ability to select a start and end time. So if you want to clip the video, you can do that. We also have some additional video options. You can autoplay it. You can mute the sound if you don't want the sound to play. You can loop it. You can show or hide the player controls. So if I hit hide on this, those controls go away at the bottom. We also have privacy mode for YouTube videos, so you can load that up as well. And we have lazy loading, which just helps, again, with page load times, so you can select that on if you want to lazy load your video. Down here, we have uh, suggested videos. This is what plays after the video has ended, so you can have the current video channel or any video. This is more for uh, the videos that are hosted on YouTube or uh, Vimeo. If we go down here, we can do an image overlay if we want to include that as well, similarly to what we did with the background video at the top. If we click this on, you can choose an image to overlay uh, on this widget, and then when you hit the play button, it will play the video. With this functionality, you also have the ability to hide the play button if you don't want that to show. So you can play around with that. And you can have it open up in a light box, which is kind of cool. So if we turn this on, it would open up the video in a light box. So you can see how that works here. So there are a lot of options available with this video widget that's built right into Elementor. Those are the two ways that you would add video to your Elementor website. I hope that you found this video helpful. It's pretty easy to add videos once you know where to go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we publish new tutorial videos here every week. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.